Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again, of course, with another Paladins video. Corvus got buffed in this update, just like IO, who I covered right before him. Corvus. He's pretty substantially better healing-wise. Now, I'm not sure if he's up to the level of the other healers here. Damage-wise, he is still struggling a bit. I don't even have the build for it anymore. Don't get me wrong, if you play him as a hybrid, focused on heals, you will still output quite a bit. Not as much as a lot of the other options here, but definitely nothing terrible. Corvus. But the damage side of things that they've tried to make happen, and buffed and moved around a ton just never really worked out but yeah as far as i can tell for the actual numbers that they've buffed in this patch because the patch notes were worded a little bit weird the q is just up five percent from 55 to 60 10 to 15 on the ally you right click or the allies that get the extra healing and then abyssal reconstruction is up to 450 but yeah just better healing numbers is really all you need to know to simplify i got two builds here they've been the same for ages extra healing to your marked targets and lifesteal to your marked targets really strong even though this card was double this strength at one point i think it was 25 percent at max it's still really really good this one has speed this one doesn't just depends on the teams just gonna go for default corvus here because i've played a bunch of him with the skins whenever i do make a corvus video which isn't that often i don't feel like i've used a default one in ages I we've got payload frostbite cavern we've got mojo octave for grove Ceres. so triple support and emoji and then for their side tiberius vivian another emoji Ceres and damber double support there again not one tank but five supports looks like a bit of a weird matchup i'm not really sure what's going on here for his talents here dark gifts is somewhat solid especially if you're you know partying with somebody who you think is gonna like do really well and you want to buff out a ton it can be solid uh, if you know somebody in your team that you kind of expect to have a carry it can also be good there but by default i would say spreading influence stunning visage just kind of weird gonna go for the speed one here because i really don't think i'm gonna need the extra self-sustain and i think this is just gonna work out if i buff the emoji on the octavia i went for full chronos and while we're not running out here seems like we're a little bit late Vivian's just sat here in the corner we'll melt through her there we go cool this damage definitely isn't bad by any means i just don't think he's particularly well you know suited to being full damage but like i said at the start of the video if you are mixing it in as sort of you know something you're doing while you're waiting for your right click to come up it can be pretty solid but you don't really get that much time because if you're switching your marks especially it feels like you have it up quite goddamn often but that's probably his weak point at the moment is the downtime it does kind of make sense for it to be that way and you know for him to have a little bit more time between when he can do his massive heals because you are sort of healing everywhere on the map at any time just with right clicking one friendly the damper's here on like nothing Try and melt him. Right click there on the Moji. Also get one over there to the Ceres, I think. But I should also mention there has been a hot fix since the last video I made. So I think they fixed the right click or Q jank, I mean, specifically with uh, yeah, Omen, which was really bad. You were getting locked out quite a bit. I noticed it way more after I recorded the video. But the lockout with Omen has supposedly been fixed alongside a few other things. So check that out if you haven't, because I think that you might have noticed it might have been already fixed. And if it hasn't, yeah, let him know, because they seem to be kind of on top of it. I think it's only been like a couple days since the update. And we've already got a little hot fix going, but we'll go for the all here. Throw that on the top, pretty solid spot for it. Killed the damper straight away. Yeah, don't know if I want to push in here. I'm going to throw that there just in case. We'll jump him. Sure. Hello, Moji. That actually kind of worked. Does he realize I'm behind him? No. <laughs> Alright, there's the double. Grove is gone, so is the Moji. We'll F away. I might be dead here. Am I alright? Octavia Ulti, I'm trying to right click the. Yeah, Ceres. Keep two of them up. Okay, just about keeping the Octavia up here. We'll keep for the Moji because she is playing the most aggressively. Ceres has also kind of shifted into a damage bit, which has kind of worked. That's a damn but all. We are all right, though. There's another right click on her. If you hit your target, that's already marked because the other two people are kind of full. You do get pretty freaking quick heals. We'll go for the ult again. No reason to really save it. Pop it there. Right click definitely has a problem similar to IO. I'm dead because of that damper stun where you get the ghost right click every now and again. It's less common than IO and harder to actually get to trigger, but it does still happen. We'll finish off Kronos, get a bit of nimble going. We are miles away now, though. Well, there Again, Grove is still up. One more. I'll go for the ult because, again, no real reason to save it. We'll pop it there. See if we can melt through Tiberius. He's gone. I think I'm going to have a better damage number than a lot of people in this one when I really shouldn't. This game seems like it's going to go like a full distance. I think we'll have a better time defending than attacking just from the team comp we've got. I'm surprised we've got to 94%, to be honest, with how hard we're getting stuck in here. He's going to keep throwing the right clicks. I'm trying to hit all three. Oji is gone. Trying to heal with the Ceres here, but she's got so much caught on her. It's kind of tough. There's a nice little 920 heal. There's a Q on Octavia. She's gone. Damages just seem to be running in. Can I throw that up there? Blink to it. Sure, hello, Vivian. Can I shred her? No, maybe? Oh my god, I actually nearly shredded through a Vivian there who's got her all up. Obviously, we're at the end here, so I was just trying to get anything to happen. There's a Q heal on the Octavia. That's a Tiberius ult. I think they're saving quite a few of them. I don't know where he's even going, but okay, Q over there for the Ceres. We've got another ult. It's like the fifth one. Might as well throw it down there to make the number look a little bit better. Some big stats there at the end. Not a bad round. That could have gone way, way worse, to be honest. We'll go for full Kronos again. Just realized I didn't even read through the taunts, but there isn't really much reason to. The only thing that's kind of non-standard, I guess, is the Damba stun, and that hasn't really been too bad. But yeah, two people, three people technically don't have items if you include the emoji on their side. Yeah, a bit weird. We're just going to play kind of back a bit. I'm going to throw one right click and then go over. Big heals here to the two of them that are left, but the healers are both gone. It's just me and the Octavia left. Don't think that was too bad there. Getting some big multi heals here, but it's kind of tough when we don't have, you know, everybody with items. And I think just generally a bit of a newer team 
15 maybe slightly than they have we'll throw a kill on the octavia i'm trying to mark the damages to get the life steal to him but i don't know if that's really doing very much we're going to blink away i just glitched it nice got a ghost heal there too just to combo it in trying to move kind of silly just not even going to focus on damage i'm just trying to juke him it worked the team has recovered i don't know how i didn't get super punished for playing like that but i think it's just because we've got so much healing that i'm able to sort of tank more than usual because quarter rise isn't that high i'm going to stick up here for a little minute just going to spam the heals from up here we'll go for the ult and just throw it there on the point that should hold him off a bit the ceiling on this map is really low just going to try and melt through the vivian grover with the ult down with the ult trying to melt through him he's really low heal there on the grover shred through type I'm actually going to go in here to push him. Yeah, sure. Was that a bad idea? Maybe. Can I wait the four seconds out before I get killed? So much for holding it there. The team just got entirely wiped. Heal there on the Octavia. Another one. I'm not even going to try and peek because I'm just going to get shredded. She's trying to sit in the queue, but it's really obvious where she is every time she blinks that play. So try and lock him down. She's going for hers. That should kind of lock him in the front bit a little bit. Okay. Moji's gone. Team is getting kind of shredded though. He's going in super hard. I'm going to throw one more heal. Just keep the little F up for a second. Try and melt through the Tiberius. Spot is reloading gonna go for the ult can't get a right click to moji don't know where she is oh i'm just dead at least the team's putting up a really good fight here till the end i think it is over though we'll get the right click q on her as well there yeah just getting shredded and there is the defeat well deserved win for them but there we go there are the stats for the first one pretty good stats 40k 120k i'm happy with it they're tiberius and they're vivian clearly the ones meant to carry on their side whereas i was i think on mine and maybe it was one to two in that aspect but i think if i was on a damage or a flank maybe we could have still won it it wasn't even really that far off of being a close game and yeah i'm quite happy how we did that on covers but i could tell that we were sort of lacking damage and focusing people down but we did get a couple good fights in there we'll requeue and to do one more all right so for game two siege so seven beach shouts to our journalists by the way we've also then got a term Strix and Zin for their side. Similar sort of comp. Grover, Furia, Omen, Zin, then Ash. Going to go for the exact same thing here. Spreading influence and then the speed setup for sure. The best choice. Luminary, Undying, and Authors used Yomi. Everyone dies. Cherish, Deep Brute, Yomi, and Battering Ram. Yeah, we've just got a term and a Zin, which means pretty much default going for the speed setup. Term alone, I think, is usually enough of a reason. Really not going to focus on damage at all unless I'm hitting like a tank or their support. We're going to actually blink forward because I think this is kind of a good spot to play aggressively. Maybe get in between them. Yeah, there we go. Ash and I kind of singled out on our own. That was just a dissection of them. I probably should have helped the Strix out, but it's all right. We'll blink up, maybe. Big heals here on the Zin. Term is just going to run up and deal with it. I'm going to throw my mark back there again in case I have to kind of get out. I cool down, it's not that bad. We'll blink back just to be safe. Keeping the mark on the two of them. I think Jones with his self heal should be all right. I didn't actually check to see if he's running it, but I assume that he is. That stun was kind of annoying. Actually, kind of ridiculous. I even got hit by that mark on him. Big heal. Throw one over there for the Zin. Big heal again. Yeah, one at the term. Just being kind of annoying here. Big hits on the Ash. I was tempted to block it, but I left it to him. Q for the guy over there. Big heal. Throw the F over. There's another nice heal. We'll go for the ult. Do I throw it in that little corner? Yeah, sure. Bit of a bad spot. I am clipping somebody with it. We'll throw a Q over the Genos. Grover's ulting. Hello, Ash. Trying to get headshots. Kind of easy if you're on the same level as him. Q for the Zin. Heal to him. There we go. I'm gone. I didn't hear ult go off until I was already kind of dead. We'll grab a bit of Haven just to see if that helps. But I'm pretty sure they've recovered it. Term does have his ult up, though. He is going to go for it. Bit of a risky choice. We'll mark him. Getting some big heals to him here. We're actually still up. Pretty big team fight as well. Just more damage. As long as he can stay on the point, I think we're kind of safe. Strix got, you know, kind of close there, but Tom got pushed off. Big heals here on him, though. Overall, I think this is going to be a really, really good match. That was just like the first cap, and that went on for ages. Big heals there, though. Just really trying to consistently output as much as I can. There's in super annoying. I'm trying to avoid, like, getting hit for tons of free damage because I don't really have too many people to pressure me if I'm out in the open. So I'm kind of just sitting here. So I really am just kind of taking advantage of the fact that i can be out in the open the omen is the only one really pressuring me every now and again when i am in a spot like that we'll get a big heal to the term just directly on him yeah there we go you do really notice the extra percentage it doesn't seem like much on paper but makes him feel significantly better heal there on the genos we'll go for the ult they're ash ulted not their ash their furia blink back heal there on the zin genos is kind of stuck over there on his own another one to him just dip out there's a mark can I get a right click to the Genos? There we go. He's just jumping around with his extra jump height. He's actually doing really well. He's definitely got experience with Genos. My man is a bit of pain in the ass to deal with right now for them. Another big kill. He's still up. He finally got cleared there. One of the first times I've seen a Genos with extra jump height actually do really, really well with it. Usually they just kind of flop around and eventually die, but I don't know if that'll happen later on. We'll see. That's a Zin. Oh, I was ready to get hit by that and heal their Zin, but, well, as in, I mean, but we're all right. Really, I'm just going to keep spamming it. Turn there, pushing through the Furia. That's both of them out. Yeah, Zin got rid of somebody too. All right. This is actually going well. I'll try my best to keep up here with like the commentary, but I'm also super focused on this one because I think it's going to be a match where if I play like crap, I'm going to be the reason that we lose it. Is that a proper sentence? I don't know. Heals down on the Zin on the term. We'll just keep right clicking him here. Hello, Omen. Okay, this is a more involved fight than I was expecting it to be. I could go for the ult here. I think I'm just going to try and get away. We'll throw one over there just to 
about. There's a right click, all right, everyone's still up. Never mind, rip Strix, there's a right click. I wish the F had like one second less on it. It will be a little bit better when we get more Chronos, but right now, it's like it's a little bit longer than I'd like it to be. Same with a right click. Until you get full Chronos, you really do feel his cooldowns. Way more than with other sports. So, heal on two of them, but he is gone. Mark stays on him when he doesn't ult. Okay, we can remark him. Bursty is in here. Nice. I say Bursty was on like 20 health, but I've never really noticed that term stays marked until you actually unmark him when he's got his ult up. It's kind of annoying. I need to pay more attention to little stuff like that to point it out in videos like this, but the heals is in over there. We'll mark him to give him a bit of life steal. I think this is going to be a hold here. She's going to try and knock me, I think. Seems silly that I was so worried there, but yeah, we got it. I thought it was going to possibly be a stomp for them. I thought it was going to maybe walk it through and have that kind of easy, but we are definitely in for a game here. I'm going to finish off Cronus. I'm not going to buy anything else right now. I'm always a little bit worried when I see a Genos in a match. I'm going to get like ultra at the start on that spot, but luckily it's on our side. So we're fine. He didn't pull it off there because he used it in the last round, but I don't know if it would even really be worth going for here. Probably worth just saving it and playing it safe. Do have the heal on the Zin over there and the term. I'm actually just going to not get anything though because because Omen shredded him. Rip. Okay, there's big heals to the Zim. We're going to F over to stick with these guys here. Throw a mark over for the Strix, who is way far up. I could have got a heal to him, but he's having a hard time keeping up. Maybe I should have got the Nimble. F over, go for the ult, throw that back there to kind of separate him a bit. Shred through the Ash, maybe. Oh my god, that general script was disgusting. Zim went for the ult for some reason. That was really bad, but we're all right here. We'll throw the mark on the term as well, maybe on the Zin. Never mind. Well, yeah, Janus is alright. Don't know what the Zin's doing. I can't do callouts because my brain is probably trying to keep up with what's going on. We'll mark the term again. The cooldown reduction on the Zin with the right clicks. He's just flying. Really do love playing in games like this one where everybody's kind of trying to play their role. I just got ghost effed. Oh my god, that was disgusting that that even happened. Luckily, that didn't punish me, but throw the F over there. Alright, we got that one out for some reason. The other one didn't, which I thought would have been more consistent. There's a heal. Throw mark on the Janos. I don't know why I'm pushing up. Is she going to go for me here? I don't know if this is good for them or not, but. I think we're kind of all right to just beta like this, right? Good mark on the Zin. Yeah, okay, pulled the Ash out. We got the objective. That worked in like the most scuffed way possible, but Zin just melting through the streaks there. Rip. I'm on a 15 streak somehow. I'm probably dead though. We'll blink away. Heal. I'm actually on the top bit. Nice. He can't get up here. Oh, he's going to... Oh, am I dead? Am I all right? Don't know what the hell happened there. I panicked for a second, but we're fine. Genos ulting. Grove is just going to tank it. Zin finished him off. It really does feel like a game here where every single member of the team is super important. And if anybody's like DCs, this game is just going to go in whoever didn't DC side words you get what I mean this game is like a really important full team match don't know if I should really have the generals marked but we're all right there's one on the Zin nice I'm gonna go for my ult and throw it there on the term I don't know if that was a good idea I thought he was gonna maybe combo my ult does slow I think a bit so it would have helped out a bit Ash is gone generals is out that's a really big deal here Q on the term for the speed buff went through the Grover He's ulting. We're going to go up top here. Play on their side for some reason. Zin got rid of the Furia. I'm in a really, really weird spot, but I'm kind of safe. I guess unless Grover goes for me, we'll just blink over this way. Heal for him. Mark the term. I like to keep the term marked as much as I can because he does really need the speed buff and the healing also, of course. And Zin as well. Uh, Strix there going for the ult. But yeah, Jones is kind of the last option for keeping people marked. My commentator state is all over the place. I'm also trying to mix in shots. I also don't want to just fire into the Zin cube because I think a lot of people kind of avoiding it, not a Q, it's a right click. Down on the term, just about keeping him up, massive heals. You really do notice the number difference. If you played him like right before this update and then right afterwards, I think you would tell that there was a bit of a difference there in the right clicks. When you're hitting three people at a time with it, it really is. When you pick up on it, Zin there, definitely trying to focus the Ash because she's like freer damage than other people. Heals on the Genos. I could stick even further back than the Genos and just heal him and two people up front, but I do kind of want to mix in some damage, so I'm going to play kind of as a bit more of a presence than I usually would, I think, on Corvus. Genos is gone. I think we can kind of handle this. I'm going to go for the ult. I throw it on the top of it so they can't just sit there for free. There's like a good spot. Zin ult. Azin got out of it somehow. There Zin is on like literally one health here and then just got a heal. That is a very, very cheeky. Ash ult. Alright, we're going to throw a right click there to the Zin because he was stunned but he's fine. Heal there. I just tanked that Zin counter kind of stupidly. Uh, Strix just in here with the pistol. Okay, we're winning this I think. Right click there on him. Yeah, I've got the marks on two of them. Speed burst, lifesteal, Genos ult. It's the Ash because she's in the corner. This is stupid. Big heal there again. Ash effed over everybody somehow. And that is the 3 1. Don't know if it's just because I'm in a maybe better mood than usual, but this match has been really, really good. I want to give props to both the teams here for making this a fun one. We're just going to run into round 3 with 3 1. If we cap it, we win. We've got two ults up, throw some heals, trying to cover people from the Zin. And I guess I was the one who needed covering. Heal there, just about got that one off. I don't have that much self-heal in this setup because we went for the speed one, which is kind of risky to be honest, but just right-clicking whenever I can to get a heal there to the term. Big one on him. Throw one on the channels here so he can play a little bit more up. Zin is also getting heals. Term is full. Ash is free damage. We really can melt through their tank. 
for actually you know, paying attention to it. It's kind of what I'm trying to do. I feel like I've said that like three times. We just about finished her off, but that's what you want to do on Corvus's weapon is really well suited to trying to damage tanks. Swishies, it also does fine, but it's a little bit more difficult. I think we might have it here. We're all playing kind of safe. That went way better than it could have. Big heals here on them. I do have the ult. I don't know if I want to use it kind of early. I think I'm going to just pop it there to try and zone them out a bit because it's going to make it tough for them to push in. That might have been a bad idea. Maybe I should have gone for it on the point. I don't know. We're going to throw the mark back there, throw a heal on the term, play kind of safe, I guess. Yeah, got some weird right clicks there. Big hits here on the Ash. Try and melt through the Grover. He's just about out. I think uh, Marks have been working wonders here alongside the Genos thing. Can we finish her off? I really went for that. I'm dead though. I think we're going to push in. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm just going to bait a little bit of time. Yeah, we're all right here. Ash is really still going for me. I thought they'd have just ignored me because I don't know if they realized I went in. Okay, heal there on the Genos. So we're going to blink over here. And there we go. There is the victory. 4-1. I really thought that was going to go the full distance there. I'm surprised we managed to actually cap that one. I think my ult actually outputted a lot at the end there. We had 160k heals, which is crazy, and 50k damage there. Props to absolutely everybody in that one. A fantastic match and a really good showcase for a lot of different characters. Specifically, though, yeah, shouts to the Genos. Shouts also there to our team who call me out at the end. I kind of prefer when people do that, but I like it whenever I play in a game with you guys. It's always good fun. And then also, anybody else that I missed, that is their Ash. Really just a fantastic match there all round. One of my favorite games I've played in a minute. Zin specifically, Shredding, Term really doing quite a lot of work there. Strix and the Genos as well. For their side, they also did really well, I'd say, in general. Omen maybe a bit of a weak link. Of course, he is the new character, so that's possibly to be expected. But we also just had insane synergy, I think, on our side. Genos and Corvus together is kind of disgusting if you have a team like, you know, Sin and Term who have downtime, so you can easily get, like, uncorderized heals. That comp is a little bit disgusting when you think about it. Don't know what else I could say. Yeah, favorite match I played in a minute. A really good showcase there for Corvus. A pretty much ideal scenario, I think, for what I was trying to do here today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, because let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Thank you once again so much for watching. I appreciate you staying in the way till the end. And as always, stay frosty.